Hello good people. Today, we are going to cover 5 best monitors for music production in the market, which are the best for you considering some unavoidable factors that you might miss out without watching this video. Here, we are going to give you an impartial review to help you out to find the best from a plenty of irrelevant products. For more info and updated pricing of the products mentioned in the video make sure to check the links in the description below. Let's start. Number 1. Our top pick is HP VH240 a 23.8 inch Full HD 1080p IPS LED monitor. If you're choosing a dual monitor setup for music production, chances are you like to have the versatility to set up each monitor to contain certain software apps or windows. The HP VH240 a 23.8 inch IPS LED display pivots easily from landscape to portrait orientation, so producers can have one horizontal monitor and one vertical. The vertical display can be good for breaking out the mixer window from DAW software and setting up plug-in instruments and effects, while the horizontal display has the DAW timeline with all of the recorded tracks. Or a vertical monitor can also suit software that works particularly well in an oblong shape, like Propeller Head Reason 12. The internal 2W speakers are rather weak, but can still be used for checking musical productions on a low-level consumer setup. With a response time of 5 milliseconds and a refresh rate of 60 Hz, the VH240 is not intended for high-intensity graphical applications like video editing or gaming, but it does have great color reproduction and contrast for its price. For musicians looking for a straightforward dual monitor setup with aspect ratio flexibility, a pair of VH240 displays will set them up with more screen space for a lower total price than many ultra-wide monitors. Number 2. Our second best pick is Philips 272E1CA 27-inch curved frameless monitor. Music producers on a budget have good news, it's easier than ever to make high-quality tunes affordably with just a laptop, some software, and a minimal amount of other hardware, such as a microphone, headphones, and a MIDI keyboard. Yet there's still some bad news with that setup, laptop screens can feel very cramped when trying to pack them with dull windows for track timelines, a mixer, and plugins. People often overlook a secondary monitor for a laptop as part of a music studio, but it can make your studio sessions much more productive when you have that important extra screen real estate. The Philips 272E1CA 27-inch Full HD doesn't stand out in any one particular area, but it is a solid, well-rounded monitor for producing music on a budget. And if your eyes feel good, but your brain needs a little break, it includes gaming enhancements like AMD FreeSync for locking the monitor refresh rate to the graphics card for less choppy playback, plus a smart image game mode for optimizing the picture for different types of games. If you're making music using only headphones, there's a 3.5mm jack for both audio input and output, and this monitor has a modest pair of 3W built-in speakers that should only be used to test how your music sounds on cheap speakers. All told, it's an excellent way to expand upon a laptop screen for a budget-minded music studio. Number 3. Our third best pick is Asus ZenScreen MB16 AMT15. 6-inch Full HD Portable Monitor. While Mac using music producers may have the fancy was bang tech of the Apple Studio display, PC users have the ability to make music on multi-touch monitors using full-featured. Windows DAW programs with multi-touch support, like FL Studio, Bitwig Studio, Cakewalk Sonar, and others. Taking advantage of PC multi-touch support with the Asus Zen Screen Touch MB16 AMT adds the extra perk of lightweight portability. It measures 9mm in thickness and weighs just under 2 pounds, making it easy to take with you whether you're at home, in the rehearsal studio, or at a live show. For a portable monitor, this one exhibits good brightness and contrast and employs Asus Ultra Low Blue Light and Flicker Free technology to alleviate eye fatigue. Besides its 10-point maximum touch sensitivity, it also works with the included stylus and a small joystick control for navigation. This is not only a PC monitor, it connects to computers, tablets, smartphones, game consoles, and cameras through its micro HDMI and USB-C ports. However, turnabout is fair play, so while Mac users can connect to the Zen ScreenTouch MB16 AMT, that comes with very limited touch functionality, 
and connecting to an iPad doesn't support Zen Screen Touch functionality at all. Number 4. Our fourth best pick is Samsung 49-inch Odyssey G9 Monitor. Samsung's Mammoth Odyssey Neo G9 49-inch Mini LED Monitor is aimed at gamers. But a lot of music producers want their studio to be a visually stunning and welcoming place in which to spend long hours of creative work, so this monitor can go a long way toward making a project studio feel like a serious command center. Both monitors wield a world-class 240Hz refresh rate, which requires HDMI 2.1 and 1 millisecond response time for wonderfully smooth motion handling. The 32 to 9 aspect ratio display offers the screen space of two 27-inch 1440p monitors and a curvature of 1000R, which supposedly matches that of the human eye's field of vision. The 1000R measurement means that the curvature would form a circle with a radius of 1 meter, 1000 millimeters, if it were extended. Fans of curved monitors like the greater feeling of immersion they enjoy from the more natural way that they utilize your peripheral vision. Musicians may want to also do some gaming and or video work to justify buying the Odyssey Neo G9 but, either way, they'll enjoy massive screen real estate and a brilliant picture with very high brightness and contrast levels. Number 5. Our fifth best pick is LG 34WP65CB Monitor. The LG 34WP65CB is considered a budget-minded ultrawide monitor for the specs it boasts which include a fast 160Hz refresh rate, for milliseconds response time, and compatibility with NVIDIA G-Sync variable refresh rate and HDR10. Those features are more nods to gaming and multimedia creation than music production. However, if you're scoring music to picture, those advanced specs come in handy for dealing with video. Even if you're not gaming or working with video between music sessions, Anyone can enjoy the 34WP65CB's strong contrast, brightness, and image sharpness. And the curved display can lend a deeper sense of immersion when working with the monitor, although its 1900R curvature doesn't bend nearly as much as the Samsung Odyssey Neo G9 above. For flexibility in your studio, the 34WP65CB has height and tilt adjustment, as well as wall mountability. Its two 7W internal speakers are more powerful than most monitors' sound systems loud enough to play some podcasts while you're making beats out of your main speakers or to use as a mixing reference when testing your productions on low-grade speakers. Make sure to check the links in the description below. That's all for this review. Feel free to share your feedback. Like, comment and share our video. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more videos like this in future. Thanks for watching.